What's up guys? Today we're talking strength training for runners. I'm gonna give you a sweet dumbbell workout to strengthen your hips and shoulders. And I've got a special guest today, my man Carl Powley from Freestyle Connections. So guys, our first strength training exercise we're gonna do today is gonna be a lunge with actually a pair of dumbbells. And I've got my man Carl here who is gonna walk us through it and give us some things to think about. Totally. I think the first thing we're gonna talk about is why we're doing lunges and I guess I if, if you're running, <laughs> uh, I assume you need to work out your lower body a little bit, right? You need to get it moving. And lunge is a very powerful way of doing that. They are a great way, and it's a nice way to work a little bit on that balance and that stability we need on one leg for, for all us runners out there. Mm -hmm. So we want to keep this super simple. Nate's just going to demonstrate uh, two lunges. And, and as we're doing the lunge, we're going to talk about three different points of performance. So just go ahead and do one lunge. and when grab the dumbbells or no dumbbells yet? Grab the dumbbells. Grab the dumbbells. He's a real man that wants to grab the dumbbells. Grab the dumbbells take a big big step forward and then from there all I want you to do is drop your back knee to the ground so first point of performance all we're gonna look for is knee on top of the ankle Ooh. go ahead and stand back up now a little shaky there that was great now <laughs> we're gonna face towards the camera and you're gonna do another lunge same thing you just did big step drop the knee on this one we're gonna focus on keeping the knee once again over the ankle and slightly pressed out to the side all we're doing here is developing some hip stability and then you can step back and then the last thing you can put the dumbbells down for this if you want so you can rest we all need it sometimes need a little rest yes the dumbbells are a great way of adding load making this a little bit more challenging but the big thing that it does is it uh, engages our trunk. <laughs> it really does. The yeah. whole core of the trunk. Mm -hmm. And key thing about this is that at the trunk level is where motor control is expressed, which is just a geeked out way of saying movement control. And when you're holding the dumbbells, the shoulders may want to roll forward mm. a little bit. So it kind of forces you to start thinking shoulders back. Be a little bit more upright. Yeah. So rather than just say do sit-ups or crunches all the time, just by actually grabbing some sort of external load and standing with them, that really gives me that trunk stability and core stability I need to, to run strong. Right. It doesn't have to be complicated to be effective. I like that. Complicated. Complicated. And you can make it more complicated by putting the dumbbells on your shoulders. I like that. So, um, you know, we also like dumbbells because a lot of you working at a home can easily get a pair. If you're traveling, you're in a hotel gym, it's easy to get a pair. Uh, and it's kind of a nice intro to strength training. So I can hold these dumbbells up here. Yeah. And the same thing. Same we, thing. We're looking at the same points of performance, knee on top of the ankle. When he steps forward, the knee goes slightly out. All we're looking for is control of the hip. And, and that then thing the we're avoiding for is just not rounding or slumping. Exactly. Trying to stay up nice and You tall. wouldn't run like that, so you train like you're going to run. Fantastic. So that's going to be our lunges. And guys, we're going to get started with five sets of six lunges total. So that's three per leg. And uh, over time, if you feel good, you can work up to five sets of 10 lunges. And uh, if that feels good, we can start to add more weight. Wow. Perfect. Well, in the next little clip, we're going to talk about our second exercise, which is going to be the Renegade Row push-up. Let's do it. All right, so our next exercise here is going to be that Renegade Row push-up. Once again, Carl, take it away. Walk me through this thing. What's going to happen here? Well, the Renegade Row or push-up uh, is a cool exercise that you can do on the dumbbells. It's basically a push-up, and then once you're at the top of the push-up, you do a single dumbbell row, which is one arm, and then you alternate to the other arm. So it's basically a combination here. And it looks like this. It's very straightforward. Nate's just going to demonstrate. Push up down, once you hit the top, you row one arm, row the other arm. Awesome. You don't need a lot of weight to make this challenging. No, you do not. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so these are 25 pounds, and after a few reps, you're going to be tired. So we're going to look at a couple things. Number one, midline or trunk stability, core strength, whatever you want to call it. In this case, the way we're measuring that is, can you keep a straight line from your head to your feet? And when Nate is performing the push-up, we're seeing that straight line as he goes down. And then we're seeing the straight line as he goes up. You can see that clean posture. Right. And the same thing when he's performing the row and then performing the row with the other arm. He's maintaining a nice straight line. So trying to that's, prevent my hips from going back this way or sagging or anything else. Yes. All you want to do is try to stay in that line as much as you that's can. That's for another occasion. That's a different show. Okay. Different show. <laughs> the next thing we want to look at is when we perform the push-up. At the bottom of the push-up, we want the elbows right on top of the hands, the same way we had the knees on top of the feet in the lunge. So as he goes down, what we're looking for is, can this elbow be right on top of that hand? And now at the top, the same thing when he performs the row. Go ahead and do a row with this guy. 
the row is going to mimic that same shape. Bring it down. This is a hard position to hold, so challenging. That so same that row shape. is just mirroring that same push-up position. Yes, it's just like this would be your transition position in your arm swing as you're running. That's what you're looking for, approximately a 90-degree angle. And as we like to say, we like to avoid the push-ups out here because we don't necessarily run out here with our arms. There you go. And then the last thing and the thing that's maybe going unnoticed here is that when he performs the renegade row, especially, and that arm comes up, the body wants to rotate side to side. Yeah, why don't we show from the front because yeah. that's a nice view. So as he performs that row at the top. So, so automatic to yeah, do the so push automatic. up. Oh man. So what we're seeing avoid. is, yeah, he wants to avoid this. He wants to keep it as neutral as possible. He wants this shoulder level with the opposite shoulder. If you can do that, you'll be maximizing your performance here and uh, you'll get some very special benefits out of it. What are one or two little tips if someone is, their hips are breaking, like what could they do to prevent that from happening? Like what should they focus on? Squeeze your belly, squeeze your butt. Squeeze your belly, squeeze your butt as much as you can. And just focus on trying to keep square. It won't be perfect at first, but just go with it. And I could go lighter with dumbbells, and if I need to, I could even go dumbbells away altogether, and I could just even practice picking one hand up off the ground and the other hand up off the ground just for that stability portion. So once again, guys, let's get started with five sets of six reps total. That's six renegade row push-ups. If that feels good, build up to five sets of 10. If that feels good, we can start to add a little bit more weight into the equation. I'm gonna go back and forth between my renegade rows and my lunges. I've got my good dumbbell strength workout. Build up those strength, those shoulders and those hips. Um, guys, that is it. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and let me know. Go ahead and hit that like button down below. If you have any other questions on the moves we did, you wanna have uh, any, even any requests for more videos on strength training for runners, go ahead and hit us up in the comments section. We always like to get a little conversation going. And lastly, if you want more videos like this and you want more videos around running tips and run workouts and, and uh, strength training and injury prevention, you gotta subscribe to our channel at The Run Experience. Uh, and lastly, we got one more thing for you. If you want a little bit more of an in-depth training uh, on strength training and injury prevention, things you can do at home, things that don't really require any equipment at all but make a huge difference to your running, go ahead and click this uh, video uh, button up here in the, in the video here and it's gonna take you to a page where all you need to do once you're there is enter in your email address and from there we'll be able to send you our free strength training, quick start strength training for runners. It's fantastic, you'll absolutely love it. So once again, all you need to do is click that here. If you happen to be on your mobile device, don't worry, there's an identical link in the description below. It'll take you to the same page and from there, you'll be gravy. Once again, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.